All right, so we got our perimeter frame squared up, and I've got two good tacks at all four corners. And so now we're just ready to come in here and uh, fully weld this perimeter frame. So I'll get going on that. All right, so we got the perimeter frame all finished. I got every joint uh, fully welded and uh, added that one uh, cross piece there in the middle. And so now what we got to work on is the uh, supports that are going to hold up uh, this perimeter. And uh, the supports are actually, the, the roll bar on the tractor actually folds in half. And I measured the inside diameter of the squared tube roll bar that's on the tractor and it's inch and a half. Uh, so that's why I went with this one inch tube uh, to fit down, to slide down into uh, the existing roll bar on the tractor. And I'll show you all that. Uh, once we get out to uh, Comanche and uh, have the tractor on hand, I'll show you how it works. But now we just got to work on the uh, upright supports. All right, here's a little template that I made of the angle I need uh, to mount this uh, perimeter frame, this canopy. The roll bar of the tractor actually comes up at an angle behind the seat. You would sit in this area and the roll bar comes up at an angle. So what I did is I just took these two pieces of scrap lumber and uh, basically made a little jig to show me the proper angle I need uh, to uh, weld up this support piece. And there's one critical measurement that I forgot to make when I was last there, which was the distance between the roll bar. So basically what I'm gonna have to do is use, uh, I'm gonna use some large uh, self-tapping sheet metal screws to uh, mount these support braces to the frame. Since I don't know the distance that they need to be placed apart, I'm gonna to have to do that when I get there. And like, a, and so I'm gonna use uh, self-tapping uh, sheet metal screws uh, to hold it in place at the back and uh, here in the middle. So anyway, we'll get started uh, making the support brace. All right, you can see here that I've cut my uh, uh, my pieces of tubing for the uh, support brace. This end of the tubing right here is going to slide down inside the roll bar, and I cut it long. Uh, that way, I can uh, cut it down if I need to, and uh, get it to the right height. So this piece is cut a little bit long. It will almost certainly be uh, shortened. But here's the uh, top piece. This piece actually is going to bolt to that perimeter frame that I made. And I made these notches here. These are greater than 45 degrees. So what I'm going to do is come in here, drill a hole, and then when I get everything uh, out to the ranch and uh, kind of mocked up on the tractor, then I'll run a, a self-tapping sheet metal screw through here. I'm only going to drill a hole in this tube. In the uh, perimeter frame, I'm not going to drill a hole. I'm going to let the self-tapping sheet metal screw do that. But I've done this on both ends just so I don't have to drill a big hole on here to be able to get in there to get the uh, uh, the screw uh, into this face of the tube. And I've done it on both ends here. And you can see I've got uh, my uh, square tubing set up on my jig here. And I've got it tack welded into place. And uh, everything looks good. I had to bump it up a little bit with this uh, spacer piece of wood. It's the same three quarter inch thickness as that. And so the, uh, the wooden jig has uh, served its purpose. I'm going to go ahead and weld, uh, fully weld this joint. And then I'm going to make my other one. I've got the two pieces cut for the other support. And I'm going to use this piece that I just made and make a duplicate using uh, the two other pieces. So I'm not gonna use this wooden jig anymore uh, just because I want these to be, the two metal ones to be identical. So I'll just get welded on that and then uh, I'll uh, put the other piece together and uh, keep filming. All right, so now we got two identical uh, support braces and uh, now we just need to come in here and uh, add a little gusseting. So I'll get started on that. And here we have uh, both upright supports uh, completed. I got uh, all the gussets 
uh, fully welded into place and uh, just ready for a little bit of cleanup work and some paint and uh, then we'll be ready to uh, mount the fabric onto the uh, onto the perimeter frame. I'm actually going to use uh, just some fabric that we had laying around uh, instead of something like a you know a real thin 22 gauge sheet metal and the reason for that is that the sheet metal will actually heat up in the sun and uh, radiate some heat down on you while you're sitting on the tractor so uh, plus uh, using some fabric um, is just going to keep it light and that's really the whole key is just to keep this as light as possible so that one man uh, can take this canopy on and off uh, as needed so that uh, you can mow un underneath trees and, and stuff like that and then jump off, put it back on, and uh, get back to mowing the uh, open pasture. So, anyway, uh, I think I need to go get some paint, and uh, then we will uh, get ready to uh, mount the fabric. <laughs> 